All right, here's a story all about how Moses' life got flipped, turned upside down. So uh, Moses, you might remember him from Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Moses was uh, a guy who grew up as a prince of Egypt. He got this great education, got great training, uh, and at some point he realized he was a Hebrew. And when he saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew, he killed him. Uh, don't do that. Um, but he ended up uh, then running away because Pharaoh was going to kill him. And he went off into uh, Midian, and he was a shepherd there for about 40 years, and he probably thought he was going to be a shepherd for the rest of his life. Um, however, God provided him with some growth opportunities. Uh, and uh, Moses saw, had this experience with God with a burning bush, and God said, Moses, I want you to go lead my people out of Egypt. And Moses' response was, uh, no, I don't even know what your name is. And God responded by letting him know that he was I am. And then but said, well, I, 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 they're not going to believe me. And God said, well, what's in your hand? He said, throw it down. It was a staff. And the staff turned into a snake, and then he was able to pick it up, and it was a staff again. He said, well, I, but I, I, I don't know how to speaking. And God said, who made your mouth? I made your mouth. I'm going to tell you the words to say, and I'll send Aaron, your brother, and he'll say words for you. And so uh, God gave these experiences to Moses and gave evidence that he was there with him, and Moses grew to trust him. Uh, but the story wasn't over. Moses went to Pharaoh, and he said, let my people go, and he probably thought that Pharaoh was going to say, okay, but didn't. He said no. And God had to send these ten plagues, and all these things took place that uh, were really difficult for the Egyptians to go through. Uh, and the last one was the death of the firstborn. And God told Moses to tell the people of Egypt, or of Israel, that if they put the blood of a perfect lamb on the doorpost, uh, they would be saved. And they had to trust God, that God was going to provide a sacrifice for them. And the death angel passed over, and they were able to escape that last plague. And they were able to go through uh, out of Egypt, uh, and instead of sending God, God sending them right into the promised land, instead, God sent them to a place where it was really tough, where in front of them was the Red Sea, and there was no chance to get past that. And behind them was the Egyptian army, and there was no way to go back. Uh, but I think sometimes God puts us in situations where we have to trust and it's impossible. And so God ended up uh, being able to do the impossible, and he opened up the Red Sea for them. Uh, and Moses, through all these things, grew to trust God more and more. And God put situations in his life and gave him experiences to make him into the leader he was going to be. Uh, back when he was a child, didn't know anything about what he was going to be doing, God allowed him to be a uh, a uh, educated man. He learned how to lead people, uh, and God grew him into somebody who was going to write five books of the Bible. He was going to be the one who gave them the law. He grew him into the kind of person who was going to lead him in military battles and lead him them uh, spiritually. Uh, and um, again, a lot of those things are not things that Moses would have chosen for himself. Uh, but God chose those things, and he might be choosing something for you to go through to prepare you to be the kind of person that he wants you to be.